Xander Hall, speaking of leftist discourse, um, so <laughs> Xander Hall had a DM leak. He's trying to talk to someone called Ch Cherry. I don't know who the fuck Cherry is. I guess she was a bread tuber, or he's a bread tuber. He slash she, whatever the fuck it is, is a bread tuber. And um, I identify that by the bread logo. Xander Hall, from what I understand, is a nobody wannabe bread tuber who had some success but is mostly a fucking loser. Um, so uh, here is the the <clears throat> the part of the leak in question. He goes, I there are more leaks of this guy. Um, talking, and he's just sell he's like begging Cherry for money and promising to pl pay him or her back in the future. It's really weird. And the only thing I could think of when I was reading this is, doesn't Flamenco hate Xander Hall? That's the only reason why I know him. Because Xander Hall's like this absolute fucking nobody bread tuber wannabe. And for whatever reason, Flamenco, the VTuber guy, is like obsessed with him and hates him. And I was going to do a joke for this part where I entered, where I read these and then I say, like, you know what this means? Total flamenco victory. And then I would, like, try to pull up something flamenco related and, like, 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 do, like, a thing where I, like, love it because flamenco is such a winner right now. But I tried to go to his Twitter account to find something, like, funny. And it's literally 100% VTuber shit. <laughs> I couldn't find a single thing that's like funny that I want to like put on my screen and be like, this is Flamenco. And I'm proud of him because he epically owns Xander Hall. Um, Flamenco is just a loser, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, he's got uh, Starbucks gift cards for any sweeties that want to have their day brightened, though. Uh, which will not be Xander Hall, I should clarify. Xander Hall says... I hate them all, Cherry. I want them all to die. I would kill Keffels in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even shoot her. I'd beat her to death with the gun. Cherry replies and says, You're not in a good mental state. Xenol says, I will kill her. <laughs> what is her address? I want it. I want to know where she's at. Bro, this guy is like trying to pretend that he's on hinge and he's still, he's still, Still referring to this castrated man in a dress as a woman. It's so pathetic. They can't even rage properly. They can't even. They can't even have mental breakdowns correctly. They just. They're still cuckolds, even in their like their lowest points. She's in Ireland. It's not public. Please stop. You're spiraling. Somebody has to die for this. I will never be happy until someone has died for this. Ideally, Keffels. Cherry says her career is going to die. <laughs> I guess Sandra Hall is like, no, no. Keffels has ruined everything for the trans community by stealing hundreds, a hundred thousand Canadian dollars and lying to people and making everything about her instead of beautiful trans women who deserve it. It's so sad. It's so sad, bro. Velvet and her fucking orbiters. I have to kill her. Really kill her. Stop her heart. Zan Cherry says, Zan, stop. Calm down. Stop. Stop. Please. Keffels responds, My possession on Xander Hall saying that he wants to kill me is that nothing online matters. We all need to log off. Please go outside, get a hobby, go have sex, literally do anything except be mad online. You can choose to live a life that is not miserable. I fucking hate the lowercase i internet. It is a miserable place. I'm planning to retire from streaming and will lock my account sometime next year and move on with my life. No one here is actually happy, and you can only find happiness if you choose to prioritize things that really matter. Like what? I can't even imagine what Keffels thinks that he's going to do. Yeah, I'm living in a foreign country with a tranny. I've cut off my cock and balls, and I suffer every day because I have to keep my stink ditch dilated. Um, music, I guess. <laughs> you know, maybe a construction worker. Like, what the fuck are you going to do, bro? I don't have anything else to say about this. I'll be back whenever. I really don't care anymore. Trying, try explaining this situation to literally anyone outside of the small lowercase i internet echo chamber and watch the look they give you at how fucking insane you sound. 
I'm planning on getting married next year. I have good friends. I have hobbies in the social life. Things are good. None of the good things in my life come from the lowercase i internet. And everything bad that has happened to me from the last two, ha- last two years has. I'm thriving. Bro, they got him hooked up on that good shit. Northern Ireland got that good SSRI. I'm going to inject pure liquid happiness into your prefrontal cortex. You are a happy boy. You're a happy boy. Everything is going good. You're thriving. Uh-huh. Oh, this is the other thing. He says, okay, I think I'm so fucked. Still no money and still does not show as pending in my bank account. Okay, the number was wrong confirmed. The 4K went to some rando. It has to be stopped. Cherry ASAP. Emergency. Fucka. Fuck. Homeless. I am now homeless. Cherry. Cherry. Why, 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 why? And what? Answer. Now. Now, please. I'm going to be homeless. Cherry. Cherry. I'm going to fuck a dude. <laughs> So I'm like a proper like boss man, Jack. Fuck, fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life. Isn't it so gratifying to know that all these people are miserable? Oh, Keffels is talking to Cherry now. Let's see what they have to say to each other. Just two bros having a conversation. This is from November last year. Keffel says, "Oh, you up? I have something more yakes." Cherry says, "What do you have?" Keffel says. As an immigrant myself, I know we all get assigned visa numbers, and with that, and then apparently he just doxes himself to Cherry for no apparent reason, and then says Australian business license. Uh, Cherry says, how did you find that? And then Kappa says, the same way I know the second thought is blank and I have his home address. I'm insane. Cherry says, does Kiwi Farms have this info? Kappa says, no, I did it myself. I'll never publish this info. It's like a game for me. Uh Uh-oh. Wait, hold up. Let me take a little. So, okay, this is how genius, how genius these people are. This guy, Cherry, goes, okay, I'll blot out all the docs, bro. Don't worry, I got you. I got this covered. No docs or Reno. And then he just leaves the fucking link in there. And then look, it's George Angelus Ganatis. And then this is some guy related to BreadTube. So the ABN just is, is is still there. You can still archive it. And it's whoever it's someone related to this. Like this um they're so smart, bros. Man, we really need to give these leftist bread tubers more power and influence because they're so fucking smart. They don't know how to type in a fucking number to send money to the right person, and they when they censor things, they leave the fucking link up that actually links to the documents. So it's like, are you retarded? For real. Um, by the way, this guy, apparently, in, in one of the logs, he's complaining that uh, he, <laughs> he his checking account said $400, but it was in parentheses. So he thought, oh, boy, I have $400. And he went out to spend it, and he didn't realize that parentheses means that you're $400 in the negative. You have negative $400. You have less than zero. So he um, over overdrew his account uh, more. And then he was like, this is why we need more, better public education. How was I supposed to know that the parentheses around the number means that it's negative? This is clearly the fault of the government. (laughs) I don't know, nigga. (laughs) I think I learned that shit in the fifth grade. I'm pretty sure that if you type any number into an Excel spreadsheet and it's negative, it automatically formats it with parentheses. Like, how do you, how do you achieve, this guy's like 31 years old and living with his parents, by the way. How the fuck do you get to 31 years old? Same age as me. Same age as me. Motherfucker doesn't know what parentheses around a number mean in accounting. <laughs> Have you never balanced? I remember when I was in Niceville High School, uh, I had a uh, home ec class, and guess what? We literally got checkbooks given out to us, and we had to balance a checkbook using a pen and paper. Did you not do that? We're the same fucking age. Where did you live where you didn't have to balance a checkbook as a part of your high school curriculum? Pretty sure it was a part of No No Child Left Behind. Like, really? Just don't get it, man. How you that fucking dumb? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.